Number 43, letter A. At what angle is the first minimum for 550 nanometer light falling on a single slit of width one micrometer? All right, so listen, pay attention here. This formula was the constructive formula for a double and multiple slit problem. This is also the formula for single slit minimums. Okay, cool. This represented maximums before. Write that down for double and multiple slits. And this same formula will represent if you have a single slit, it now is the minimum formula. Okay, so I'm gonna write that out. Now, the M value here cannot be uh, zero. All right, it has to be some one going all the way up. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, letter A, what angle? Well, I'm asked to solve the angle, so what do you think I'm going to do with the distance between the, uh, or the opening basically now, right? Because it's not a distance between the slits anymore, it's the it's a single opening. So that just represents the distance now uh, between the, or the distance of the opening. And then if I want to find the theta, all I have to do is then take the inverse sine of both sides. When I do that to the left, it just cancels the sine, and there we go. So now all I have to do is basically plug it in, okay? So this is M, that's one because it says first minimum. The um, the wavelength then, okay, is going to be 550 nanometers. So to multiply that by 10 to the minus ninth, then I'll divide that by the distance here, which was one micrometer, just convert that into meters. And there you go. So let's see what it works out to be, okay? So inverse sign, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So 550 multiplied by 10 to the minus ninth divided by one times 10 to the minus sixth. And we get an answer about 33.4, so 33.4 degrees, okay? And it's asking us, will there be a second minimum? So all you have to do here is, is just cancel the one, put a two there. Now redo the calculation. If you get an answer, meaning if the calculator doesn't spit out something that looks strange, then you do, okay? If it doesn't, if it gives you like quit, error or something, or domain, whatever, error problem, then there is no second minimum. So ready, second sine or inverse sine of two multiplied by 550 times 10 to the minus ninth divided by one times 10 to the minus sixth. And uh-oh, error domain. So guess what? No. The answer is no, there will not be a second minimum. Okay? Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. All right? Please help us out and subscribe if you can. And again, be careful with this formula. All right? Go back. If you skip through the beginning, listen to the beginning of the video. I'll see you soon. Take care.